said the Sullivan Commission, the study they did, basically said that the outcomes are better when, when you have people of the same culture caring for those individuals. You understand uh, the issues. I mean, you never want to put an old Armenian lady in the same room with a Turkish lady, because you're going to have a battle on your hands. You know, it's, it's going to happen. Uh, so you have to be conscious of that. I know at our hospital, when the Hmong people first came over from uh, Southeast Asia, and they came to, a lot of them came to Fresno. They were placed in Fresno. A lot of them went to Minnesota. When these people came over, we had to do a lot of education, because they didn't understand anything about health care. And we didn't have any Hmong nurses. Mm -hmm. uh, they didn't know how to use the ER. They were placed in apartments, and they didn't know how to use a stove. Nobody mm -hmm. taught them what a stove was. So they were still cooking on the floor in the little hibachi-like things mm -hmm. on the floor. It's lucky they didn't start a fire, you know, burn the place up. But we had to do a lot of training and education. Now, thank goodness, we have more Hmong nurses and Southeast Asian nurses in the workforce. At our hospital, uh, when the mothers had the baby, the, the, the husbands came in with a little pot of soup because their belief is that after the delivery, the mothers can only drink warm water and a special soup. So by instituting a cultural competency task force at our hospital, we were able to get the nutrition department to learn how to make that soup so that the fathers didn't have to bring it in anymore. The, the nutrition, the dietary department provided that for the mothers.